We are in the villages of South, South Pokot Sub County. As you can see, they are already written on the door. There is a message written on the door of that house. A message is written at the door of the house where Rosa Samson came back to life. And the message reads, Thank you, Most High God of the Mightiest Prophet, for raising Rosa back to life. Thank you, Mightiest Prophet of the Lord, you intervened. Thank you, Most High God of the Mightiest Prophet, for raising Rosa back to life. Thank you, Mightiest Prophet of the Lord, for intervening. Maruto Mchane Na mimi ni wa Maneo haya chavarten South Pokot Na hii nyumba Ni nyumba ya mama rosa Enya alifufulia Wakati nilisikia it is well Ndiyo nikakucha asupui mapema Nikakucha hapa Na nikakucha Kuingia hii nyumba Wakati niliingia hii nyumba Sasa Katini lifungua malangu Ufundo na arufu Ika nipika Sasa ilikuwa mpaya sana Yo ufundo na arufu ilikuwa mpaya sana Sasa nikarudi nyuma Kwina nilirudi nyuma nikakucha mpaka hapa Sasa nikasikia Nikafukiria It is well Ya chana, nikakuwa na uchasiri Pamoja na imani Nikarudi tena Vile nilirudi Nikaenda kupata mama rosa Analala hiyo kitanda yake, si hii Si hii, ni kitanda yake hiyo Sasa hiyo kitanda yake Wakati sasa nilifika Nikafunua mrengeti Nikafunua mrengeti Vile nilifunua mrengeti Mama rosa ilikuwa na arifumu Paya sana, alikuwa mpaya sana Ya kunuka tamaiti We are shocked because we are talking about resurrection in the year 2017. We are now talking to the senior deputy director of medical services, a senior most doctor in this land, who documented this very shocking phenomenon. He is the senior deputy director of medical services, professor of medicine and surgery at Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital, and a senior consultant surgeon who is consulting for many different hospitals. So I would like to ask him to just take us through again from day one, this shocking phenomenon, the reversal of death. Doctor, please kindly allow us to go back right uh, to day one again after her resurrection. Day yes. one, she resurrected. She could not see people. Her vision had not come back. Her vision had not come back on day one? Her hearing had not come back. Her hearing had not come back. The skin was dark. The skin was dark. And thick. Thick. Yes, and tough. Yes, please. She was smelling. She was smelling. Yes. Yes, Very please. Very Smell of decomposition. Something decomposing. It was a smell of decomposition. Yes, precious people. We are talking of a very stunning, very, very stunning documentation of resurrection of a dead corpse in 2017 that the senior most doctor has been documenting. So, Dr. Tari, please, day one after 
she was resurrected. The dead corpse was resurrected by the mightiest, most revered prophet of Jehovah Yahweh. You have said that there was decomposition and the smell of death. Yes, this person has started to decompose. The smell of death was still on. The intestines had started to rot. The intestines had started to rot? Yes, so this somebody was rotten. This was someone who was rotten? Yes. Yes, that's why people are taken as fast as possible to avoid that smell. That is why they take people to the mortuary to avoid the smell? Exactly.
Deutschland, die ganze Welt muss es feiern. Dass sie feiern. Er We are here in Cheparten village to follow up on this glorious, noble testimony of a woman by the name Mama Rosa. And somewhere over there in that village is where Mama Rosa comes from. On June 21st, this year 2017, Mama Rosa, after having suffered for so long, passed on. She removed her, her tongue and also her eyes popped out. Not to mention that the body stiffened and she urinated on herself. And that was the last they heard of her. A pastor by the name Jairus sent a text to the mightiest prophet of the Lord and shortly after the sending the text the message came back it is well and with those three words even though the entire family was crying they started celebrating and we want to find out what does this resurrection speak to church in Kenya and worldwide. The man of God came speaking the message of repent and prepare the way for the kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus the Messiah is coming. Little did we know that in this message it was the power of resurrection. Und danke, mächtigster Prophet des Herrn, dass du eingeschritten bist. Liebe Leute, lasst uns jetzt reingehen in das Zimmer von Rosa und lasst uns das Bett anschauen. So when the message arrived at well, the father went outside, called the daughters in. Yes. And they started now celebrating here. 
when that was covered. So when she died completely, we were collected this seat. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord.
Tô meu pai, tô meu pai. Não, não, não. 
kwa siku ya Jumatano wiki ile nyingine. Huyu nimetambua ni nabii wa Mungu. Na ninampongeza na ninamshukuru kwa sababu yale amenitendea kwa ajili ya mke wangu. Basi nikataremuka mpaka pale. Nikapata mama anatetemeka. Pia na kuhema. Alikuwa akipumua saidi. Basi mimi nikachukua polepole. pole. Mpaka kwa nyumba. Nikaweke kwa mahali kwa nyumba mahali iko kitanda. Na, na hii kitanda ni ya kuunganishwa mabenchi. Akachinyosha. Kuchinyosha. Mama akafanya. Na kukojo. Wakati alikojo. Akatupa ulimi nje. Akauma ulimi. Macho sikalala nje. Ni kukata roho. Nikapigia pasta Jairus. Mama hayuko tena. Nikapigia mama Ruto. Mama hayuko tena. Amekatika. Mungu akashughulikia ile ile message alitumanisha hivi ikarudi hivi na mnabii wa Mungu amesema it is well 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 basi wakati hiyo message ilikuja nabi amesema it is well wakati alinirejeshea message Nikashika Nika handle Wachirani sasa walikuja Ja walikuja tu kuangalia hivi wanakimbia na, na mimi tu niko nafunika mama na shukulika na mama Na kulia machosi ya uchungu Kwa sababu ya mke wangu Nilikuwa nalia sana Nikasema nimepoteza huyu mama. Nikawa na uchungu zaidi. Mama alikuwa amekufa kitambo. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Amekufa. Amekufa. Lakini wakati neno lilipokuja. Nika nikatoka inchi, nikasimama kwa mlangu. Nikaita wasichana yangu. Nikaambia kwa kipokota kaleka. Kucha ndani. Iko maneno. Iko maneno hapa. Iko. Iko message. Iko maneno hapa. Hai. Nikaambia msichana. Angalia. Imetoka kwa mkuu eh, kwa, kwa nabii wa Mungu. Na amesema it, it is well. Nika mwambia leta celebrate Wacha tushereke Hapo sasa ndiyo tukaanza kushereke Wakati niliambiwa ya kwamba imekua it is well Mili kasema kuna nini ingine tena Kuna nini tena inashinda Na imeseme kana sawa sawa Hapo na ma, hapo, na hapo Kapika chapia Mama akakohoa eh? 
nika nikafungua ile blanketi akaniambia uniinue mimi nikamuinua kai chini wakati alikaa chini akamwambia ni nani alinirejesha msichana akamwambia ni Yesu alikurejesha Yesu 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 Mama akarudia mara ya pili Ni nani alinirejesha Msichana ni Yesu Kwa sababu nimekamata yewe aegemee hapa mimi nikamwambia ni Mungu amekurudisha Lakini neno la ya nabii ilisimama na kumuinua Haleluya Senior consultant surgeon at my teaching and referral hospital with an experience of more than 20 years in fact today I should be operating patients at the referral hospital that's why I'm here today nowhere in the medical literature where somebody has come back somebody who's heart has stopped you the lungs have collapsed the blood have clotted in the blood vessels brain death have shed the brain have died nowhere in the whole world that's why I thank the mightiest prophet of the Lord that history, science whatever field you mention has been changed let me just explain to you briefly why Ross had to cough and sneeze because the lungs had collapsed so she had to jump start the lungs to close and there is no machine that can jump start even the heart this is a mighty miracle a mighty miracle
My names are Dr. Sakari Kasepoi, Senior Deputy Director of Medical Services here in Kenya, Professor of Medicine and Surgery at Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital. I'm a consultant surgeon and urologist. I've been consulted in various hospitals in this town of Eldoret and also outside Eldoret. Today, I'm going to talk about an issue, a shocking and amazing phenomenon, a stunning one that has never been written anywhere, never been heard anywhere. I'm the one who is presiding over this shocking phenomenon, amazing phenomenon of Mama Rosa. I've been recording stepwise progress of the decomposing dead corpse that resurrected. These are decomposing dead corpse that resurrected by the name of Mama Rosa. Never been written anywhere, never been written in any surgical books. This Swartz Principle of Surgery, ninth edition. There's nowhere in all medical books that I've come across where a dead body has resurrected. In fact, death by definition is a terminal thing, it's irreversible. And therefore what I'm talking about today is reversal of death. Somebody who had decomposed and resurrected. And therefore, since I certified the death and resurrection of Mama Rosa, I have been recording stepwise the recovery processes of this person. When Mama Rosa died, I was privileged to witness how she looked like when she immediately resurrected from death. I found her when she was smelling, she was rotten. In fact, that smell would hit you as you enter the door. It was stingy. It was a characteristic smell of death. And she tells us when she approached the door, the rotting stench of death hit her and caused her to retreat back and out of that room. She went back a bit. And then she asked herself, has she really resurrected? That characteristic smell is only found in the mortuaries. And when I entered that door of Mama Rosa, when she resurrected, that smell hit me and I knew, surely this person must be dead. It's only because of the breathing movements that alerted me that she was alive. But the stench of smell was so bad, the odor was very characteristic of a dead person. And I knew that for sure, this lady had rotten intestines. Because when you die, it takes very short time for all your organs to rot, to decompose. The eyes were bobbed because of the blood had bobbed out. The eyes were, had bobbed out. The tongue was swollen, had filled the mouth because of their decomposing tissues and the bloating from the gas being released by the bacteria, the decomposing bacteria. When I looked at her at that time, the skin was very dark. The characteristic color of death was very dark and hard. For sure, when I looked at her, she looked more of a corpse than a living person. Dead corpse. It was very smelly, very stingy, and the skin was dark. The lower limbs were edematous, were swollen. Her eyes were white. She was pepper white. She was stiff. She was wasted, like wood. She was wood like stiff. All her joints were rigid. In other words, she had undergone the full course of ricomotis. The full course of ricomotis that occurs during death because of lack of adenosine triphosphate that causes relaxation and contraction of muscles. So this lady for sure was rigid like wood, was stingy, was smelly. The dependent parts of the body were swollen. The tongue was filling, the mouth was swollen. The eyes were, had popped out. It was very scary to look at her. The bones are very visible and prominent. And when I recorded the progress in this lady, to my surprise, I, I learned that, in fact, she was not seeing and she was not hearing anything. For six days, she was not able to hear anything or see. Her eyes were wide open, but she could not perceive anything. 
This is a person who was dead and resurrected because of the authority of the mightiest prophet of the Lord. That is the authority that brought this lady back from death to life. And when she came back to life, this lady, the, the words that she mentioned was Nani Ameni Rhodesia. And from that time, henceforth, she did not speak again. She, was, she slept most of the time for three days. She was sleeping. She did not eat anything. In fact, we forced her to eat, but whatever we gave her, we tried to give her milk, half a cup of milk, and she threw all out. She vomited. This lady, the intestines were rotten. That's why she could not tolerate any food. She could not take anything. The instinct in me, I wanted to rush her to an ICU. In fact, this somebody was supposed to be in an ICU setting, not even a hospital ward, but an, an ICU. And when I wanted to rush her to ICU, then I remembered that this is a person who was dead and resurrected because of the authority of the mightiest prophet of the Lord. That is the authority that brought this lady back from death to life. The authority, the words spoken by him who is in this land, who mentioned, who said only three words, that it is well. And those are the words that brought this lady back to life. And when she came back to life, she asked, who brought me back? And in Kiswahili, she said, Nani Ameni Rhodesia. Two times. And the answer she was given was, Yeso Ameku Rhodesia. In other words, Jesus has brought you back. And since that time, she never mentioned any words. For three days, she did not eat anything. For three days, she was asleep. And on the fourth day, that's when she started taking liquids, started taking liver, and ate something. So for all those three days, it's a wonder that she was not eating anything but alive. What surprises me most as a doctor and as a surgeon, with more than 21 years of experience in this field, approaching 22 years, is that when you cut the blood supply to your brain, three to five minutes, it's dead. You go to a state, we call it brain death, irreversible brain death. In other words, you don't reverse the death of the brain. So what surprises me, and it's a sign and a wonder to me, is that how did the brain of this lady recover? How was she able to recover the functions of the brain? Because we know once you have brain death, that's the end of you, that's the end of the brain, it's irreversible. Neurons don't regenerate. Once your neurons have gone, the astrocytes have gone, they don't regenerate again. That's the end of that brain. And therefore, it's a wonder that this lady, on the sixth day, since I recorded all in my diary, in my surgeon's diary, my surgeon's journal, I recorded all here and all is written here. I recorded everything that happened in this lady because I was so interested. I was surprised in the first instance. I was shocked that a dead person, a dead body, that was smelling, that was decomposing, resurrected. And therefore I was, I took keen interest in all that was happening in her body. And after six days, that's when her vision came back. She was able to see. That's when, that's when her hearing came back. And she was able to speak and taste something. She told us, now I can taste this food. It tastes, it tastes as if there's excess salt. That's when he was surprised that all this time when we were feeding, on the fourth day, she was not able to know what she was eating because she could not see and she could not taste. Therefore, I wondered how a dead brain came back to normal. How was she able to recover her vision? How was she able to recover back her hearing? Let me take you back. When she resurrected, she sneezed and coughed. And for sure, any dead person, the lungs would have collapsed. The alveola had collapsed, we call it atelectasis, and I'm sure there were a lot of secretions in the airway. She sneezed three times and brought out a lot of secretions, then she started breathing. That breath of life, to me, is what changed everything, it's the game changer. That breath of life that came to her, brought life, the lungs expanded, the brain came back to normal, and the cardiovascular system 
when you shut off oxygen to the heart, the myocardium dies. You get what we call myocardial ischemia. And once you are dead, muscles, your heart muscles are dead, they are dead, they don't recover, they don't regenerate. And the sign of arterial node was able again to, 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 to generate the impulses that excites the entire heart to beat in a regular manner. And to me, I don't know whether I will say regeneration of the heart muscles or a new heart. This lady must have received a new brain, new lungs, new heart for her to come to normality the way she is today. Because after six days, her memory came back, the short term memory. She was able to remember people. She was able to mention, to call her children by name. She was able to call her, to call her husband and recognize her husband by name and be able to see things on the sixth day. So to me, this is a big miracle, a sign and wonder that has never been recorded anywhere. We have never recorded anywhere where irreversible brain death comes back to normal, to life. This lady, she was so stiff, stiff as wood. But over time, remember, for the first three days, she was asleep. She could not be able to even speak. But on the fourth day, two people would hold her to sit down and another one to feed her. This has improved tremendously now that on the seventh day she was able to feed herself. Remember that for the first, the first one week she was being fed. The first one week she was being held to sit on the bed. She could not sit on herself. She had lost all her milestones. This was a dead corpse that resurrected. She lost all her milestones. She lost her vision, she lost her hearing, she lost even her musculoskeletal system. Her muscle power had gone down. She could not sit. And she continued recovering stepwise and stepwise. On the sixth day, as I said, her memory came back. The short-term memory, but not the long-term memory. For the first time since she resurrected, remember that this lady was feeding she was eating from the fourth day, but she did not go to the washrooms. That was a surprise to me. In other words, the gastrointestinal system was dead and was resurrecting slowly by slowly. From the smell that was emanating from her breath, you could tell that the intestines were dead. And therefore it took time for the peristalsis to come back, to be able to push and digest the meals downstream. So after two weeks, I clearly documented it here on my book, that after two weeks, I've been, I was waiting eagerly to know what will happen when she goes to the washroom for the first time, when she will be able to relieve herself. My expectations were to be very difficult for her to relieve herself after all that time. I thought she would experience constipation, severe constipation. And I thought she would need an enema or a stool softener. But to my surprise, she relieved herself normally, no problem. In fact, it was, it was not a big issue to her. That was a very big surprise to her and a big relief to me. On the seventh day, let me take you back, she coughed a bit. And I was really worried that this cough, does it signify that the lungs have not expanded fully? That does she still has atelectasis? So I took her to a hospital for a chest x-ray, just to find out how do their lungs look like. The medical instinct in me said most probably the lungs are not fully expanded, or there was a lot of secretions in the lungs, or there is a telectasis. And when we took the chest x-ray, to my surprise, to my astonishment, the chest x-ray the chest x -ray looked normal. The lungs were fully expanded, very normal. And to me, it looked like this lady had new lungs looked like as if the creator who creates who created us the creator of heaven and earth the creator who created all living things and all living things seen and unseen must have created a new heart must have created a new brain must have created new lungs that's why she had perfect life she did not go to icu as i expected i thought for sure this lady was going to go to an icu when you are dead the acid bed balance in you goes haywire. You develop what we call metabolic acidosis, respiratory acidosis. But this lady, there was no corrective measures that we did to her 
we did not give her bicarbonate, but her pH came back to normal. Her metabolic acidosis, respiratory acidosis, came back to normal. Her electrolytes came back to normal. I expected it to be very bad, but came back to normal given the way she was recovering, stepwise, in a sure and steady recovery. When somebody dies and the, there's no circulation of the blood, it usually clots in the blood vessels. I'm sure this lady, the entire blood vessels in the body had clogged with blood. There was blood clots. How those blood clots were broken and the blood became fresh again to continue taking oxygen and the nutrients to the entire body is a shock to me, stunning to me. I cannot explain, but what I know is that the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, must have created new blood also in her. Because how do you break a, a clot in the entire system and create new blood, fresh blood, that will be able to circulate oxygen around your body? To me, that's a big surprise. I was privileged to be in the National Bishops Council meeting that was in Nairobi. I was called to give a testimony of how Mama Rosa, who had died and resurrected, was recovering. Therefore, in that meeting, Mama Rosa, when I, when I was leaving home to, to that meeting, because I brought Mama Rosa to a specific place where I always monitor. Every day I make sure that I monitor any changes in her body. And whatever new changes happens, I usually record in my book. So I had the privilege of knowing exactly what was going on in Mama Rosa's body. Then when I was called to Nairobi, Mama Rosa had not walked. Mama Rosa was still being carried. If you remember, that's what's after this being circulated. Mama Rosa was carried from one position to another position. She was not able to walk. But at this time, she had sat on herself, not being supported. So the mightiest prophet of the Lord, he had seen how Mama Rosa is walking. I was surprised, but I knew Mama Rosa was not going to walk that soon. So when the mighty prophet of the Lord described to us how he has seen Mama Rosa walking, to me I thought it would be two weeks down the line. But to my shock, the following day, that was on a Friday, I was seated in the upstairs of my room, and Mama Rosa was in another room downstairs, and it was around exactly 2.42 p.m. That was on a Friday, 7th of July, 2017. I heard noise coming from down. People were shouting. And to me, I was, I was scared. I thought Mama Rosa most probably had collapsed, had fell from her bed, and needed at my attention. So I ran, I ran down very fast, expecting to see the worst of Mama Rosa. But when I went down, I found Mama Rosa walking. a big surprise to me. In fact, I joined in the celebration. I joined the shouting. I joined the joy of celebration. It was a reflex celebration because I expected Mama Rosa to be seated on the bed or lying on the bed. But when I found her walking, I joined in the celebration. Joyous celebration. It was an unspeakable joy. And when I finished the celebration, then the thought of the mightiest prophet of the Lord came back to me. For sure, Mama Rosa was walking exactly the way the mightiest prophet of the Lord had demonstrated to us in Nairobi. That was a big shock to me. Then I realized, who is this person walking amongst us? Who could foretell things that happen tomorrow? For sure, this is the person that had the authority to resurrect Mama Rosa. And again, was able to foresee what was going to happen 
the following day. And Mama Rosa exactly walked stepwise the way the man of God had described in Nairobi. The joints started to soften up. If you look at her shoulders, on that what's up picture, you'll find that the, the shoulders are rigid, the hands are crossed across, very rigid. Full, she had undergone full cause of ricomotis, but started to soften up. In fact, since that day when she started walking, she has been improving steadily and gradually. Now she can be able to move her shoulders, which are rigid and fixed. This lady, for sure, since she resurrected, the, the, the progress has been slow. The reversal of death has been slow and sure. The, the process of recovery was slowed down a bit, but she's recovering. Now the long-term memory came back on the two weeks down the line. That was on 8th of 7th when he was talking to her. She remembered things. That was on 8th of July 2017. She remembered things that had happened 10 years ago. She told us the stories of her childhood. That's a very big surprise to me. Stunning surprise, a shock, amazing that somebody who had brain dead was able to have her neurons back and all the memory being brought back. In fact, she told us all with fine details of what had happened 10 years ago when she was young, where they were living before, before they moved to a new place, how her children were, how she gave back to her children. All the fine details. And another enigma, beloved people, is that this Apokot lady who, did not, who didn't know Kiswahili, the only language she knew was her native language of Pokot. The first Kiswahili she talked once was when she resurrected and asked, Nani Ameni Rudisha? That's in English, is who has brought me back? And the answer she was given back was, Yeso Amekurudisha. Jesus has brought you back. She asked that twice and she was given the answer the same twice. And after that, she didn't speak any other Kiswahili. Deal these two weeks where she started now speaking fluent Kiswahili. That's an anekma. I cannot explain. Somebody who didn't know Kiswahili, now she's speaking a new language. Apart from the full memory, all the information has been brought back to her brain. Now she another language has been added unto her. In fact, when she spoke over the radio, Jesus is Lord Radio, her Kiswahili was fluent. And remember, this is a lady who didn't know Kiswahili, she didn't, know, she didn't go to school. And therefore, the only language she knew was her native language of Kipokot. But now she's speaking Kiswahili fluently, and she's improving day by day. That's a shocking revelation that I cannot explain. How do you explain that somebody who didn't know another language has now learned a language instantly? She didn't go to school. Let me summarize, let me put it in this way as I come to a conclusion of this shocking phenomena, stunning phenomena, sign and one of our times, that if I was to write a book, it will be voluminous books, more than Schwartz's Principles of Surgery. I'm sure I will take one system or one organ to describe how the brain came back to normal that usually doesn't come back to normal. I will write about the cardiovascular system. I will write about the central nervous system. I will write about the musculoskeletal system. How a tissue that, re that never comes back when somebody is dead has come back to life. For sure, Mama Rosa was a dead corpse. She was supposed to be buried. She was smelling, she was a smelling dead corpse. 
but resurrected out of the authority of the mightiest prophet of the Lord. This is the most powerful prophet who authorizes the dead to come back to life, who authorizes every organ in the body to come back to life. And now Mama Rosa is alive, is walking. And therefore we need to honor he who is walking amongst us. We need to respect him. We need to fear him. And we need to obey all that he is saying. And therefore whatever he says, precious people, beloved people, must be from the Lord. Because the only giver of life as a doctor is God himself. No doctor have ever brought anybody to life, whether in the developed countries, or wherever continent you mention, or wherever country. Nobody has ever brought life from a dead corpse. But in this case, the authority of the mightiest prophet of the Lord was able to resurrect a dead corpse. This is a new phenomenon called resurrection. It's not found anywhere in the medical literature. It's not found anywhere, and I didn't come across in my medical school. And therefore, as a surgeon, I took in rest and recorded everything that happened in this body that resurrected in Mama Rosa. And this process of recovery, post resurrection, I've clearly described them in my daily journal. And it has shocked me, it has shocked us, it has shocked us in the entire medical fraternity. And I would welcome all my colleagues, wherever they are, that you can come and we do our research. Because we have never come across such a phenomenon where a dead body, a rotting dead body, a corpse, decomposing corpse, comes back to life. And as we speak now, she's well, she's, she's not in any danger anymore. In fact, she's eating, she's walking, although she's still slowly, she's still recovering. Some of the joints are still stiff a bit, but the shoulders now are lighter. She can walk without support. She can go, da she can go down stairs without being assisted. And therefore, I just want to say one thing. We have a prophet sent by God himself who has brought a decomposing corpse back to life. This is an amazing story, a stunning story has never been, ever been done anywhere in any research institution. No life has ever been brought back. No dead corpse have ever been brought back in any hospital, in any research institution, in any facility, medical facility. And therefore, this a shocking phenomena, stunning phenomena that has turned the tables down in the medical field, that now our eyes have been opened because we have never and we have never imagined or dreamt of bringing a dead corpse back to life. And therefore, this is a reality of our age, this is a reality of our times, this is a sign and wonder of our times that a dead corpse have been brought back to life by the authority of the mightiest prophet of the Lord. Mama alikuwa amekufa kitambo. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Amekufa. Amekufa. Lakini wakati neno lilipokuja. Nika nikatoka nchi, nikasimama kwa mlangu. Nikaita wasichana wangu. Nikaambia kwa kipokota kaleka. Kucha ndani. Iko maneno. Iko maneno hapa. Iko you got message. You got my name, Abba. Hi. You can be a Mustana. Angalia. I met a girl from Nabi Wamungu. Now my family it is well. You can be a letter celebrate. What are you share again? Let us celebrate. What are you share again? Nabi Wamungu. It is well. Let us celebrate. What are you share again?
Mana si Juwe? Memang paka, ya sore buana. Minjo mama rosa. Yule, adik kufa, foto pake pake. Kwa hivyo sasa, kama siyo nabi, huyu wa mungu, hakuna mtu ila ngasa kwa nifufuwa. Alakini yeye, ndiwa ninaweleza, wati ya dunia uote. Mushiki, huyu nabi, anakifungua. Ana kifungua hile na esa hile alifungua mama rosa kutoka mauti hile alifungua mama rosa kutoka mauti ndio sasa mama rosa ndio huyu anaongea saina nini muna wana ya vile hiko alakini saimu hili hivo kwereke kukua mzuri alakini ugitana alikuwa tafauti na mungu hiko anasidi anaponya Mutawana atapon, ataponya paka nyimbe ngini ya mutashianga mutakata. Halakini ya sande kwa anapi, wanyakati wa, ya si, wanyakati wa mwaka hii, hii vile alikuja, akatuma runie hii, ninase, ninarudisia ya sande. Kwa sababi ya alikuja, vile alisikia mama rosa, amekufa, Aka sema neno moja. Aka sema it is way. Mama Rosa aka fufuka. Aka fufuka paka walewe hii ndio padu nonke na njini. Ndio njini na eleza uwa njini wote. Hii mungu wetu huyu anakifunguo. Hile anafunguo mutu kutoka mauti. Kwa sababu ni baru nataka nini nisi ya mefungua mama rosa kutoka mauti. Paka sahi ya hako na onkea na nyingi. Musikie visuri. Kwa sababu yeye. Ndiyo. Hako na ngufu. Kwa sababu baleka sisi wote. Minguni. Hakuna mali bengine. Tukifuata yake. Hiye ndio mkukwa ni mkukwa kusenda wote. Kwa hivyo wa mimi ni mama Rosa Samson. Kutoka chepate. Kwa sasa. Nimewambiwa. Nimewambia njini. Uyu na pi wetu. Ana ngufu. Kwa sababu alitoa mama rosa. Hile nge likuwa mefuni kwa na mchanga. Haka kawanyisha na mchanga. Ndiyo paka sasa hiko na ungee na njini. Sasa njini bali munataka nini tena. Na mumesikia. Wengine ya meniwona. Sasa njini bali munataka nini tena. Kwa hivyo mututubi samsetu na tufote ya nabi. Tufuate hii ya nabi wetu huyu. Hii ndio anangufu. Hii ndio mutu wa mungu. Kwa sababu hii ni mutu wa mungu. Kwa sababu alitawa mama rosa. Hili alikuwa mekufa. Hili alikuwa mekufa. Kama ngekua siyo hii. Singe alikuwa ni mewasa. Na ni mesaulika. Kwa hivyo ni nawelesa uote wa dunia. Ni nawasalamia. Nini uote. Mufote hii anabi huyu hako nagifungua. Anagifungua. Anasafungua mutu kutoka mauti. Sumuna wana alitoa mama rosa. Alifungua kutoka mauti. Na kawanyisha na mchanga. Na muna wana sasa badu nonge na nini. Na muta wana ya tasidi ya kipona ya kipona. Maka kesho, mwotachua ni yeye, kwa sababu wa uyu mungu, kwa sababu wa uyu mungu wanapi. Kama ngekua yeye, aa, aguna weso, kama ngekua mungene, aguna weso, alagini, 
amepona kwa sababu wa Mungu wa huyu na pili wetu My name is Dr. Toromo Koche. I am a Senior Assistant Director of Medical Services or Medical Specialist 1 working for Kenya government. I have worked for over 20 years and uh, the first I worked as a medical officer in Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital when I was based in Eldoret and then later on I came to Baringo District Hospital where I became the District Medical Officer of Health for the entire uh, district. And then later on, I came to the provincial headquarters, Nakuru, where I was coordinating the HIV program uh, for the entire Rift Valley uh, province. And then currently, I am the sub-county medical officer of health for Nakuru North. I oversee the entire facilities of uh, Nakuru North. So recently, there was a very shocking incident of uh, Mama Rosa's case of death and resurrection. And from my knowledge, or which I acquired in the medical school, I read quite a number of books. We have even the books of pathology, you know, they are voluminous books. And all of them, there is none where it is indicating that death can be reversed. But there is this case of Mama Rosa who died and actually resurrected again. And I followed closely and uh, Mama Rosa underwent all the processes of death. There was no respiratory effort. She stopped breathing completely. And there was no heartbeat. The heart also died. There were, the brain also died. So all the systems of the body that support life came to a standstill. And after that, this woman resurrected, came back to life. This is something that has shocked us as medics. I've tried to analyze because when somebody has died, there is nowhere indicating that somebody can be reversed. Death can never be reversed. 
because even the system of the body maybe just to give you a little bit of uh, how life is sustained the smallest unit uh, of the human being is the cell the cell and uh, when you combine several cells you get the tissues then you get the organs you get the systems and there are systems which support life in the body we have the respiratory system this is the system that provides oxygen on a regular basis to make sure that that oxygen is applied to the body we have also the gastrointestinal tract this is the system that allows energy in terms of food to come to the body and then we have the cardiovascular system cardiovascular system comprises of the heart and the blood vessels this is the system that distributes the oxygenated uh, food the, to the uh, various tissues of the body to the various organs of the body to be used especially the brain and remember that the brain if it is deprived of oxygenated blood for more than three to five minutes it just dies so the case of mama rosa is a shock it has shocked the medical fraternity we are shocked because we don't we don't know how to explain and we have been following and documenting the processes of resurrection because initially in medical uh, and knowledge we only know of the processes of death we know that somebody when just dies she undergoes the seven stages of death and the, of course the first one you know it is palamotis where the person becomes pale and then the second stage uh, halkamotis you know the person becomes cold the body becomes cold because there is no blood circulating in the body and then the third stage is rigamotis there is no nutrient called adenosine triphosphate in the body and the muscles of the body require that uh, nutrient adenosine triphosphate for its normal contraction so if it is not supplied then there is no muscle contraction the muscles become stiff and rigid from the history mama rosa reached that stage and of course there are other stages which somebody undergoes until it reaches the stage of skeletonization so for me as a medical practitioner to to have to have documented now the processes of reversal of death it is a shock and a wonder because now medicine cannot explain it is only in the supernatural that we can find such so it is my wish that if this uh, uh, knowledge can actually be incorporated into medicine because it is a new area it's a new chapter in medicine we have never seen people resurrecting every time somebody dies we just dispose but now there is hope because Mama Rosa has just resurrected. In conclusion, I would like to say this. As a medical practitioner, having worked for over 20 years as a, as a, as a medic in the area of medicine and surgery, and uh, I've never seen any case of reversal of death, it has never happened in medicine. Because when the brain dies, and it dies just after five, three to five minutes, you can never talk of any reversal. That person is gone. sehr schnell in dieses Haus, zu diesem Zuhause. Sie kamen als Rosa in das Leben gebracht hast. Und danke, mächtigster Prophet des Herrn, dass du eingeschritten bist. Liebe Leute, lasst uns jetzt reingehen in das Zimmer von Rosa und lasst uns das Bett anschauen.
Mwana asipiwe tena. Tuletwe tena. Tushukuru wewe Mungu yetu. Mungu yetu ametenda machako. Mwana kata na tunataka team. Tushukuru hii mungu yetu ya nabi Kanyo kina parabati nyo njimu nari kwa leo mtere Anda tuchue leo Aki angu taase tele Hii mungu ya nabi Tararatu ni pala wari kwa nda tararatu Ni mungu Ya kutishi ya Nisiye munga sande Yokina atarara sana Nisiye rosa hile likuwa ngeosa sayi Nyoke yoku rosa nyoke kati minye Nyoke yoku sape Nyoke sasa Akwe mbeye Turudisiye mungu hii yetu hii Kenyo kina atarara pinyanyo tenyo Asande Sara Alafu mujue akuna mungu ngine kama hii ya nabi Kwa mungu kina mungu ya kwa kankani ya mungu ya kwa yon Leo kila sisi kumi likuwa ungei kiswaili Haa sisi kumi likuwa ungei kiswaili Haa sisi kumi likuwa ungei kiswaili Haa sisi kumi likuwa ungei kiswaili My name is Dr. Catherine Wangoi, retired Deputy Director of Medical Services, consultant pediatrician. I've been a doctor for the last 39 years. And in those 39 years, I've seen, I've encountered very many people who've been very seriously sick and they've died. Death is a terminal event, irreversible, because once somebody stops breathing, the systems cannot be sustained because the body, every cell needs oxygen. Even the heart, which is the main organ, that pumps blood throughout the body. Once there is no oxygen, the heart also stops. So there is no blood going to all the organs and all of them, they fail collapse, what we call total organ failure. And it's not possible, once somebody has died, to be reversed again. The brain dies, the liver dies, the kidneys, and the respiratory system was the first to die. The nerves, the muscles, the uh, digestive system, all of them have collapsed. And it, when it gets there, there are no options left for that particular person. But recently, I was very shocked and stunned. A lady in West Pocot died and later on resurrected. Very surprising. She started sneezing and coughing and breathing again. This cannot be found in the medical science. And from the records of the doctor who's been looking after her, for the first three days after she started breathing, she, she had a very characteristic smell of death. Then she was smelling so badly, meaning her 
digestive system was decomposing. And normally the digestive system has many, many bacteria. And when it starts decomposing, those bacteria are in millions. And she cannot survive with such infection. A normal person, even if you just wrote a small section of the gut, it's a medical emergency. That part must be removed for that person to survive. So it's very amazing how this particular lady survived three days smelling like a dead person. White eyes. And the way we know it in the medical science, there's particular biological systems which must be working for life to be sustained. As I said, there is no medical science that mm -hmm. can reverse death. So for this lady to have come back to life, to be resurrected, is some power apart from the medical knowledge. And that power is so massive, so mighty, mm -hmm. that that power doesn't need working biological systems to, su to sustain life. It is a big puzzle. How did it happen? Who kept her alive? Then slowly, she regained her strength without any medical intervention. Her eyesight, her hearing, her nerves. She started feeding. And then she could sit with support eventually she's walking. This is a very big phenomena. Coming back to life is a big thing because she's surviving another powers apart from the medical science. And I can't understand it. I can't explain it. It's not in medical textbook. It's never been written. I've never heard of anybody who has come back from the dead. And this is a lot of hope that there is a very mighty power that can return people from the dead and keep them and sustain them. and referral hospital. With an experience of more than 20 years. In fact, today, I should be operating patients at the referral hospital. That's why I'm here today. Nowhere in the medical literature. Where somebody has come back, somebody who has stopped you. The lungs have collapsed. The blood has clotted in the blood vessels. Brain dead have shed, the brain have died. Nowhere. In the whole world. That's why I thank the mightiest prophet of the Lord. History, science, whatever field you mention has been changed. Let me just explain to you briefly why Rosa had to cough and sneeze. Because the lungs had collapsed. This is a mighty miracle. Nowhere. In the whole world. An experience of more than 20 years, nowhere in the medical literature, where somebody whose brain died, 
Director of Medical Services here in Western Province. It's very clear that Mama Rosa actually was not breathing, so there was no cardiac activities and there was no breathing. So basically, Mama Rosa was dead. When she was dead, the children were actually literally crying outside, and uh, the husband wrote a message to the mighty prophet of the Lord and said that it is well. And Mama Rosa sneezed back and started breathing. This phenomenon cannot be explained medically. This to us is a miracle. So this was purely a miracle through the word of a mighty prophet of the Lord. And to me, as a profession, yeah, we confirmed that the lady was dead. Yes, we confirmed that uh, with the word from the mighty prophet of the Lord, the lady came back to life. And it just confirms that it's a miracle. This phenomenon cannot be explained from the scientific terms, cannot be explained in the medical terms, cannot be explained in the, in the wild terms or in any other terms, but can only explain that it's a miracle by the mighty prophet of the Lord. I'm Dr. Silas Wahudu, a retired senior assistant director of medical services with 34 years experience. The bulk of these years, I have served in psychiatric units at both the Provincial, hospital, Provincial General Hospital Kakamega and at the Madari Hospital in Nairobi. We are discussing the uncomfortable and unwelcome subject of death to most of us. And in hospital settings, when a patient's condition deteriorates at the bedside, the doctor will start by examining the, the presence of respiratory effort. That is whether, whether a patient is still breathing. If this is absent, they move on to the heart and they will examine the heart, see whether there's a heartbeat. If there's no heartbeat, then the next organ to be examined is the brain. And usually, br when the brain is functional, the eye responds to light by controlling the size of the pupil. Now, in this case, a doctor will shine a bright light into the eye, and if the brain has ceased function, a patient is certified dead. The pupil will be dilated and unresponsive to light. We refer to this as dilated and fixed. Macho sasa akatoa macho nje. Kutiri nuko ni maniko ni sang. Mimi nikajaribu kushika shika. Ato Allah na mama mila. Nikashika uso. Ande mole paka mole paka. Nikarudisha ngozi ya macho. Ayo kwa kwa nyiti ya mama ile ndo kwa ayo kwa. Aiteremuka nikakimbia nje. Alipo sang. Tukapiga nduru nje. What happens after death? In fact within minutes of death is that because of lack of supply of oxygen, the chemical reactions that now take place in the body are different. They, are, they lead to breakdown of tissues. So the cells break down, they discharge their contents, and these contents contain enzymes, among other, among other chemicals. These enzymes will go right ahead and begin digesting the tissues at, next, to, next to them. Then the other process that 
happens is that of bacterial multiplication. Because the immunity has seized its function, bacteria multiply unimpeded. And as they multiply, they bring in the, the process of putrefaction. That is the process of rotting. So these two processes will continue alongside each other and depending on the on the environmental temperature this can go on fast or slowly next the body begins losing its heat at the rate of about one degree centigrade per hour and thereafter up to the point where they, there's equilibrium between the body and the environmental temperature the blood in the vessels begins pooling clots form and the process of digestion also uh, of the cells starts. So this discolors the body. Finally, the muscles within about two hours or so, they begin stiffening, starting from the head going downward towards the feet. So they stiffen and this is what eventually is known as rigor mortis. Now, to us in Kenya, we received breaking news of Mama Rosa. Mama Rosa, who had died, had been certified by a senior uh, doctor, Dr. Zachary Kasipoy, a consultant surgeon. Mama Rosa, upon word being sent to the mighty, mightiest prophet, within hours of that, was noted to sneeze, and she sneezed three times and eventually coughed, signs that breath had come back into her body. So Mama Rosa has been resurrected and she's moving away gradually from death. Life that is increasingly coming towards normal, moving away from death. We are able to document the processes of this improvement. This is and unreported anywhere, it's unrecorded and unknown that we be able to record step by step the improvement that is recorded in Mama Rosa's body. This is a new science, the science of resurrection underway. My name is Dr. Busire. I am a dentist by profession. I've been a dentist for 11 years now. I have worked in various hospitals in Nakuru, beginning from the PGH Nakuru to Bahati Hospital, and later I was in a hospital called St. Anthony, where I was actively involved in helping patients to manage their conditions. Today, I want to speak about death because there is a particular case that attracted my attention of a particular lady who had died and now is alive. Medicine explains death as a permanent end to the processes, the vital processes of cells and tissues. And the body, a human body, is made up of cells, tissues, and organs. So m many organs will make the body, and many tissues will make organs, and tissues are made up of cells. So when these cells, the, the, the processes, the vital processes of these cells end, then now that person is said to have died. So, as a dentist who is majorly working in the face, in the head, and in the neck, it attracted my attention because for somebody to be able to eat what we call in dentistry as mastication, for somebody to be able to eat which is now chewing and swallowing, a lot of muscles are actively involved in chewing and swallowing 
control the food in the mouth through to the stomach. This person had died and came back to life and the tissues had stiffened. The tissues had reached rigor mortis. Medicine will always explain the death of a person when this person reaches rigor mortis. Rigor mortis is a condition or a, a, a position, a point where the tissues, the muscles, especially the muscles, will stiffen because they do not have energy. So, for somebody to have passed away, for somebody to have died, then this tissue, the tissue structure, the muscle structure of the face had stiffened. That is why this person cannot be able to eat immediately. And so they required some time to be able to regain strength that they can also actively control the process of mastication. I had to ask, was this person able to speak? And if so, how, after how many days was she able to speak? They told me she spoke immediately, but later she was not able to speak until after the third day when she was able to speak. It is well. And those are the words that brought this lady back to life. And when she came back to life, she asked who brought me back. And in Kiswahili she said, Nani Ameni Rudisha. Two times. And the answer she was given was, Yeso Ameku Rudisha. In other words, Jesus has brought you back. And since that time, she never mentioned any words. For three days she did not eat anything. For three days she was asleep. And on the fourth day, that's when she started taking liquids. I knew that for sure that these muscles had died. Usually when a person dies, the four basic mu muscles of the face, the busneta muscle, the temporalis muscle, the orbicularis muscle, and also the thyroid muscle, which are working together actively to be able to necessitate the functions of the face. And so, when this person reaches rigor mortis, the muscles of the face are among the first muscles to reach rigor mortis. And so this person, after coming back from the dead, after coming back to life, this person is not able to speak or even eat because the muscles are not in coordination then I knew for sure that something had happened. So I went further and asked what had happened. Then I was told there is some supernatural power that brought her back to life. Then I said as a medical practitioner, this one is not documented in any book and these books are very large in volumes, volumes that, that do not have any information about how a person is after coming back to life. Then I said, as medical practitioners, we need to embrace this phenomenon, the phenomenon that has brought somebody back to life after death. Lastly, I want to speak to the medical practitioners, wherever they are. Indeed, this is a stunning occurrence. It is a stunning phenomenon that a person can come back to life as the medical practitioners, now we have hope. There is hope for us since we, ha we can be able to see such big, big phenomenon. I know for sure that we have difficult conditions that we manage. Sometimes these conditions are too heavy, they are very difficult. But since now there is hope, the hope that we need to embrace, I know for sure that it will make our work easier. In my experience, when someone dies or passes on, there are various changes that normally occur. 
to the body of the person who has passed on. These changes include both physical and chemical changes that occur to the body right from the time of death. And uh, they occur in stages and most of the time specialists, in this case I mean pathologists, uh, use these changes to determine the time intervals that uh, occur after death. So there are those immediate changes that occur, then we have the early changes and the late changes. We have the cessation of respiration, cessation of cardiac activity, changes that occur to the eye, absence of reflexes, and also uh, primary flaccidity. So once you have noticed that this has happened to a patient who has changed condition, post-mortem changes begin to take place. We have early post-mortem changes and late post-mortem changes. Then the next change that occurs is, is called rigor mortis. Rigor mortis is a post-mortem rigidity and, uh, or stiffening in other words. So this happens uh, due to lack of production of energy. We call it ATP energy. So the, the muscles are not able to produce energy to cause movement. So lack of that move, uh, production of energy makes the muscles to, to stiffen. At this point, uh, you normally see that a body is now stiff, it cannot be flexed or extended, it cannot be moved in any direction. Now, it has come to our attention that uh, a lady by the name, a woman by in, in South Pokot by the name Mama Rosa, uh, died and uh, came back to life. Basically, it has not been recorded anywhere in the medical literature. There, there are no medical reports to uh, that show that evidence that there was someone who died and came back to life and what happened after they came back to life medically. So there is no documentation anywhere and this is now happening for the first time and it's even a, a shock and uh, it's, a, it's a stun to most uh, medical pr practitioners. So with Mama Rosa, for her to die and come back to life, it is a wonder and it's a miracle. And uh, I can I have pictures with me after she came back to life, and uh, I can see she has extensive uh, rigidity and stiffening of the muscles. Like I can see the hands are very stiff. I can see the the upper limbs are also very stiff. And the hands has obvious deformities. I can see the upper limbs and the lower limbs are still very stiff. Uh, this picture also shows the same. There are obvious bony prominences. You can see the, the shoulders and the obvious deformities that are in the hands. This one still giving us evidence that there is a stiffening of the of the hands and the feet, the, the hands and the legs. This is Mama Rosa who had died and came back to life. So with these kind of pictures that I see, it makes me wonder, could it be that uh, she died longer? Because by the time we were getting stiffening, it it, it, it had already, uh, that was rigor mortis that had already set in. So could it be that it had taken more hours? And since she came back to life, what has been remarkable is that there has been stepwise developments from the time she came back to life. She coughed and sneezed, and she did not immediately start uh, moving and doing the normal functions of life. It took some time before she started doing the basic functions of life. So it, it gives you evidence that there, were, uh, there was damage to the neurological system, there was damage to the uh, GIT system, there was damage to the respiratory and the cardiac system, there was also damage to the musculoskeletal and the renal system. Because they, they, when she comes back, they come back as a, in, in steps. A, a stepwise development. At first she was not able to walk. She could not walk because of the extreme stiffness and extreme rigidity. Then 
she could not she could not feed she did not have appetite at that time this means that also the gut had uh, suffered injury then she could not see people and she could not hear and she could not even perceive the taste of food so this also means that the cns or the neuron the nervous system had basically been injured and damaged because of lack of oxygen for those hours that she was dead then this gives you evidence that she suffered some fatal injury to basically all her systems that's why it came back in step points and and it happened step by step she she could not see for the first six days then she she started having normal bowel movements and and uh, going to the toilet for short calls after about 14 days so meaning that the renal system had been shut down and was now being restarted and uh, also the gut could not absorb the food as it's supposed to do so because it had lacked oxygen for a while so it also took that uh, that amount of time to come back and uh, this in my opinion as a medical practitioner i have never seen it anywhere in the world it has not been recorded also anywhere in the medical literature so it's evidence that a, a woman who died came back to life and then started having uh, basic functions and it's even a, a shock and uh, it's a, it's a stand to the medical practitioners My name is uh, Dr. Nelson Jenga. I am a general practitioner. So today I would like to talk about death, the irreversible, irreversible cessation, the irreversible stoppage of the respiratory function, the circulatory function, and the brain function, rigor mortis, which is the stiffening of the joints and the muscles of the body after death. After death. Decomposition, the false smell of death, and then there is production of gaseous element that is so obnoxious. It is false smelling. False smelling. So these are the stages that now are attributed with death. In medical history, there is no place, there is no instance, there is no time that there has been reversal of death. The, the pupils are dilated, the eyes, the, 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 the pupils of the eye become dilated and fixed and they do not react to, to light and the pupils are dilated then it means now death has come. Death has taken place. Macho sasa katoa macho inje Kuchiri ni ukwani mbani kwa hivyo sangu Mi ni kajaribu kushika shika Ato ala anama anda mila Ni kashika uso Anama oleta kap Oleta kach Ni karudisha ungozi ya macho Ayo kwa kwa ni chini Anama ina mba kwa wa ayo kwa Ayo tere mbuki Ni kalia Ama wakam Tukashika miku ati tunajaribu kukunja Ni kajaribu kukunja ikunjiki Anama kelele teta wata yu kuna Lama kukunja kia kelele Mi ni kana kujuga siti Awa chan shipu and that is when we use those parameters, simple parameters, to certify death, to now say that this person has died.
Mama Rosa Anaketi Na sasa Mama Rosa Anatetea It is wet Mungu wetu Mama alikuwa amekufa kitambo. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Amekufa. Amekufa. 
lakini wakati neno lilipokuja nika nikatoka nchi nikasimama kwa mlangu nikaita wasichana yangu nikaambia kwa kipokota kaleka kucha ndani iko maneno iko maneno hapa iko iko message iko maneno hapa hai nikaambia msichana angalia imetoka kwa mnabii wa Mungu na amesema it is well nikamwambia let us celebrate wacha tusherekee alikufa wengine ameniona sasa hivi bado mnataka nini tena kwa hivyo mtutubi samsetu na tu fote ya nabii mmm tufuate hii ya nabii wetu huyo yeye ndio ana nguvu yeye ndio mtu wa Mungu kwa sababu yeye ni mtu wa Mungu kwa sababu alitoa mama Rosa ile alikuwa amekufa Yule alikuwa amekufa. Kama ungekuwa sio yeye, ningekuwa nimeosa na nimesaulika. Kwa hivyo ninawaeleza wote wa dunia, ninawasalamia ninyi wote. Mfuate yeye anabii huyu hapo anajifungua. Anajifungua na asafungua mtu kutoka mauti. Sio mnaona alitoa mama Rosa. Alifungua kutoka mauti. The Messiah is coming. Masi anakuja. Prepare the way. Andaeni njia. This is he. Huyu ndiye about whom it is written. Ambaye kwaye imeandikwa. That I will send my messenger. Ya kwamba nitamtuma mjumbe wangu. Ahead of you. Mbele zenu. To prepare your way. Kuanda njia yenu. Prepare the way. Andaeni njia. I have seen the coming of the Messiah. Nimeona kukuja kwa Masihi.